I suppose the big question is whether the opportunities thrown up, the, up by the web threaten us more because of the bad things that a minority of people can use the web for, one thinks of pornography or planning terrorism, all because of the ability of authorities to spy, as uh, Mr. Snowden has uh, just exposed in America and the UK. What's your view? Which is the greater threat? Well, I think that in general, the web is a, is a tremendous opportunity. There's so much good stuff that can happen. Obviously, uh, um, there's because humanity is using it, humanity is good, humanity's got some, there's some bad stuff. It's certainly true that we need a police force which has got powers to investigate the bad stuff on the web just as in real life. But what we've seen is that we've, got, we've had agencies which have been spying on the population and, there haven't been, uh, and there's been no control on them. So in other words, that whereas we thought that we could go onto the internet and have a private conversation, it's turned out there were question marks about that. So we've got a huge amount of value in the internet, all the things that we can go to like Google and Wikipedia and the, so the danger is that actually people have to back off from using it because they realize that it's not safe. It's really important that now we have to move to make sure that the internet is safe from the point of view of privacy. When you look at all the great things that the internet has achieved, you look at some of the bad things as well, though. We think about child abuse images being so readily available. We've had cases where children have committed suicide because of internet bullying. Do you ever feel that you created a monster? I don't think so, because uh, the, what you see when you look at the web is, is as I say, it's humanity. Uh, there are bad people, but you know, the good hugely outnumbers the bad. Bad things on the web, illegal things on the web are illegal. Child pornography is illegal. If you do child pornography on the web, then you'll get, you'll likely go to jail. Uh, if you do, if, you know, if you do something fraudulent, you'll pay fines. So law exists on the web, as it does elsewhere, uh, and uh, the police have uh, got ways of uh, of enforcing it. But when you, when you hear of, of these bad things that happen, do you ever feel a sense of personal responsibility? Well, if I did that, then I'd have to take a sense of personal responsibility for all the good things. Uh, and in fact, you know, the, uh, uh, which, which, which would be crazy. You no, know, what my role has been to uh, create the space, right? just like somebody who creates a big park where you can go and, uh, where you can go and talk. The space, the, the web is a place which basically it's designed to be a bit like a, a plain sheet of paper. It's supposed to be a neutral medium. Uh, the web itself doesn't constrain what it is you do on it. The police will constrain bad things, but on the hand, the great thing about the, the web in a way is innovation. So yes, you're, well, I guess you're, the, it, it's your job to worry about the things uh, uh, the bad things, but also we've got to celebrate the, the good things. And there's a huge amount of good which has happened, a huge amount of ability, you know, access to healthcare uh, materials, for example. Uh, the way, one of the things we've come out with the Web Index is that in 80% of the countries that we looked at, people are using the web in order to get together online, social networking sites, for example, in order to discuss their country, discuss the world, and make it a better place. And in 40% of the place, in 40% of the countries, it, uh, we determined that people not only got together to discuss stuff, but they've actually made yeah. so social change. They've achieved now, social change you, by by really getting saying, together on the web. Are you really saying that you believe now, to use the word you used earlier, that it is unsafe to communicate on the web because of the scrutiny? Because of course we've been told by you know, the NSA and by the British government that while they can monitor who is talking to, to who, they don't monitor the content of their conversations. So in general, uh, for most things that people use the web for, yes, it's safe. It's, uh, and I think that what we need to make sure is that these, uh, the powers which, we've, which have been a bit abused, that it, uh, don't get expanded. They don't get given, for example, to, uh, to companies who may want to use it in order to not just check for terrorists, but maybe check for people they can sell particular pro pro products to. Um, so we want to have uh, really a, a build up a sense of the, the rights that humans have in general and 
to a certain extent, we're talking about now a sense of rights on the internet. Of in, uh, what are the rights of a human being on the internet? So, Ted, thank you very much, Lee, for joining us.